Now at 530, take a look at this. These are some of the schools that have received threats in the past couple of weeks, and the wave of threats continued today. This morning, students at Matter Lakes Academy hid in classrooms after a student reported they overheard a verbal threat. The charter school, which is separated into a middle school and high school, quickly worked with Miami-Dade police to determine the threat was not credible. CBS 4's Ashley Dyer is live there tonight. And Ashley, what is the latest from police on this? Elliot, I actually just spoke with police and they tell me that there were no guns or any other weapons found inside the school. They also say the verbal statements made don't warrant any criminal charges. The school day at Matter Lakes Academy cut short after a student overheard and reported what they perceived to be a violent threat. Different versions of the conversation were spread through text messages and social media, prompting panic and uncertainty. Well, they were saying that a kid uh, was going to kill the whole school. What I heard was that he was just going to shoot up the school, the seventh grader. Miami-Dade police say two students were involved in the conversation. When they searched the school, no weapons were found. It's scary because knowing like a student can go and like put a weapon in the book bag and just like no one knows who has one in the book bag. So that's it's dangerous and scary. Since the beginning of the school year, Miami-Dade Schools Police Department has investigated 40 threats and made six arrests. 20 of those threats happening within the last week. I was just going over with my stepdaughter earlier this week what to do in case it was a an active shooter kind of reminding her you know uh, run hide fight type of mentality you know action and uh, luckily it didn't come to that today but it, you never know Miami-Dade police won't tell us what was said between the two young students just that they won't face any criminal charges police shared this warning on social media any person who communicates a threat to kill to do great bodily injury or conduct a mass shooting commits a felony in the second degree punishable up to 15 years in prison. The state attorney's office also weighing in with this statement, reading in part, threats made against a school are never jokes, are never funny, but are always crimes. And we reached back out to the school to see if these two students will face any repercussions for this conversation. We haven't heard back, but I am told that the students' parents were involved in conversations between school officials and police and that they are aware of everything that happened. We're live in Northwest Miami-Dade County. Ashley Dyer, CBS4 News.